All right, so here we're going to show, as we would show in our normal homeschool study, this is all a part of homeschool, teaching kids how to do things, uh, teenagers, kids of mature age, um, somewhat mature age. Anyway, we're going to teach you how to pull bearing off of a carrier that you would normally need a $500 tool to do, a big press, um, a hand press. Or a $200 pull. cheap tool for it. Or a $250 Chinese Amazon knockoff tool. So we're going to bypass all that pricing. And we're going to bypass making any special tools. And we're going to use what we have on hand. And what we have on hand is a, is a crow's foot, which is a, a typical harmonic wheel balance puller, or a steering wheel puller, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to use an O'Reilly socket, which is nothing. This is the same one we need to use for the pinion nut. That's an inch and five sixteenths Big one. for a Dana 60 pinion nut. We're going to use the adapter to go from three quarter inch drive to half inch drive. Um, we're going to put it in backwards like this. And I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's going to work. We put it in there like that. It just seems to fit just nice. And we're going to make an attempt to pull this bearing off. How are we going to do that? We're going to take our normal longest out of our kit, our longest harmonic wheel balance bolts. You can rent that too and return it. Yeah, you can rent this tool and return it. And we're going to try to hook the bearing from the back side here on one of the rollers. Like that. So you can see what I'm doing here. Get the concept. We're going to go here. And we're going to go here and then we're going to get some just random nuts that we found out of the tool shed all right okay we're going to get pull that one please thank you buddy okay get that nut on there like that okay does that look pretty even to you? About, yeah, I got the head here and head there, yeah. Right, okay. And so we down. just have the lip of the bolt holding it, right? Mm-hmm. Then we're going to take a dryer clamp for a dryer, a conventional dryer. We're going to try to get it around it if we can. I've never tried this, but I dreamed this up one day when I was taking a shower. Take a shower, guys, it helps. I'm not saying you're dirty, I'm just saying take a shower, it might help you. Or sleep on it. Then we're going to take this clamp, and we're going to attempt to use it as a band to hold these bolts down tight. Against the baron. I've seen many other people try different things. Including making their own tools. Including making their own tools with a grinder. And these dryer clamps do strip out like that, so we could have picked a better one. But we're going to try it with that. What do you think? Well, let's try it. <laughs> That'd be amazing if that works, actually. Because, yeah, because you know, this is hard pressed on. No, because there's nobody out there that uses any other makeshift tools. They'd let the layman do it. It kind of reminds me of what it would take to fix our country. Something cracked. Okay. Is it, is it trying to pop out on me? Um, not yet. The two bolts are still in there. All right. Something clamp. moved. I think the clamp moved. Clamp a got bit. a little loose. Watch your face. Uh, well, you got it off. Well, how about that? You did get it off. I mean, you got the, the outer shell of it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get a pair of... I can't say... Yeah, it, BPC because, I mean... It won't be politically correct if I call it dykes to cut this, but diagonals and dyke for short is what you use to cut this off. So, let's get a pair of... Diagonal. Diagonals. Yes. Right. Okay. 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 So we're snipping our cage with our diagonal pliers. We're gonna separate the cage. Pull it off. Now we got our roller bearings. These are conical rollers. Put our grade 1000 steel conical rollers to the side. 
All right, so how do we get under there to get that? Uh, we don't go under here, okay, because I need these shims. These shims need to stay intact. But we catch it by this right here, right? We'll try it this lip right here. So we apply the same concept and try to use the heads of the bolt to pull that up. Correct. And if we can't do it that way, then we'll try another way. You can hold that for a minute. Let's try this. Did it pop up? Yeah, it did. Okay. Bolt's popped up. We'll retry it. All right, ready? Yeah. Big pair of channel locks, go. All right, so we decided to use channel locks instead. Hold tight on the channel locks. Go. Zing! It actually pulled it out. $500 part what? 200 tool, yeah, $200 tool what? That actually pulled it off. All right, give me that. I need that raise to beat the new one on. Right? Now, uh, you know anybody else that did that? I don't know, but this is what you can learn at uh, home school, right? Mm-hmm. So, what we really need to do is leave these shims on here. Yeah. These shims are what we're after to save, okay? Yeah. So we get the dirt off, the grime, grit, any metal fleck, put the shim back on, right? Yes. Then we'll press our new bearings on, right? Yeah. How are we going to do that? Good old fashioned mini mall, right? Yeah. Sound good to you? Mini mall. Right. We take this, put it on top of the new bearing. Use it this way. Shim. After we clean it up, put it on. The big problem is getting it off, and we just solved that. Right. But that's okay. how you remove a carrier bearing without a special tool. Well, this is a special tool. But you could use a big pair of ice grips. You can get those at a harbor freight. Yeah. Don't try to use a C clamp. It'll probably just turn sideways and pop off on you. Yep. If you had a good pair of channel locks or a good pair of ice grip, like welder's vice grips, it'd probably work great. Yeah. All right. Thank you.